it's been my goal for four years. Everything I've done and chosen races and such has been all about qualifying for spine and getting to the start line of today's race. I've come over to the UK so many times, like for Ch Summer Challenger South, for Winter Challenger North, for Northern Traverse, to really try to build up the skills to be able to, to even dare to, to do this race. And I am like so excited. Only 200 guys spread across 400 kilometers and everybody talks about the community sense and the spine race uh, and the spine family. I wanted to know what it is. I never run in the cold. Uh, my first time racing in the UK as well. But uh, I've done some 300 kilometer race, like Tour de Gien, and a lot of 100 milers. So this will be my biggest race so far in my first year in the UK. Yeah, I keep coming back. I've just, I just, it's a weird feeling um, when it comes around to this time of year. I just, I like it. I like the challenge of it. Um, it, it really is hard, um, and yeah, I've got quite uncomfortable about it beforehand. But I just love the scenery. The people are amazing. Uh, the runners and the crew, um, all the spine people, it's just an amazing event to be part of. Um, I just love being part of it and either running or helping, but the running part is, is brilliant and I just want to get that finish again. I wanted to do the spine because I am a single mum of two young kids and really needed an adventure and the spine seemed like the easiest, most accessible adventure in the UK. So yeah, hopefully it'll be a challenge and I can be someone other than mum for a week. Everyone, the volunteers, the, the elites, everyone is just so friendly. Yeah, this one has turned out to be a special one because we have, uh, I think, about nine of the past wins accounted for. Uh, I couldn't tell you why, I just think the race is getting bigger and bigger as the years go on. and. Uh, any of us uh, watching the sidelines who were not tempted seem to have piled in this year to, you know, in a late entries because want to be part of the party. Yeah, if, you know, even if we're not competing at the front, which will be the case in my case, it'll be great just to be in and see it from the inside and, and enjoy the spectacle. So, yeah, it's, it's become a really big thing and all the big runners are back this year. It's a big family reunion. <laughs> it's just so special to be here. It's such a special thing to be a part of. Seeing everyone, being back in Edale, um, ready to get going again on the Pennine Way. Yeah, just um, if I wasn't here, I'd be dot watching all weekend. So I um, thought it'd be easier just to be here in person instead. Uh, why is this year special? I suppose because there's a, like 10 ballers that are taking part. So you've got John Kelly, Ian Keith, Dougie Zinnis, Rory Harris, uh, demo uh, and lots more so I think it's going to be a really great race at the start I'll probably be slightly further back but um, yeah I think it's going to be a good race for those dot watchers around there well it brings me back because I did the challenger last year and that was a stepping stone to then doing the uh, full spine so that's what brings me back my challenges is just to get through it uh, I've had an injury coming into it so training hasn't been where I've wanted it to be so, uh, yeah, the main thing is just finish and uh, anything on top of that's a bonus. Back again. Uh, just love the challenge, I love the sleep deprivation, I love the problems and I love trying to solve them. I like to f challenge myself personally, rather than physically as well. And this is the race for it, yeah. Pull yourself down to your bone and then your base and smash it, hopefully. I've done the Challenger South and the Challenger North, so it's about time I tried the whole thing. Beautiful scenery, very varied, um, and a kind of challenge that you'd, you'd never do if someone hadn't suggested it was an event. Uh, I'm dreading Hadrian's Wall, because when I did the Challenger North it seemed to go on forever and it was up and down and up and down and up and down, but I'm hoping that that's just completely warped in my mind and when I get there it'll be really flat and really easy. Um, I'm really looking forward to being out overnight and seeing the stars. It would be amazing if we saw the Northern Lights. That's never going to happen, is it? But I have this dream to see the Northern Lights. If I could see the Northern Lights on the spine race, then I think I'd have to just retire and never do anything again, because that would be perfect. Just looking at the stars will be good enough. Good morning from Edale. It's a beautiful morning here. We're at the start of the Winter Spine, the 268 miles on the Pennine Way. Everyone's ready to go.
here in Edale, the Winter Spine Full 268 mile racers have just left the village on their way up the Pennine Way. Super exciting news last night in the Spine Sprint, the shortest but by no means the sweetest of the races in the event series. We've got two shiny new course records. Jessica Jonathan smashed the women's race, taking over an hour of the previous course record. Rupert Allison uh, took the win with 40 minutes under the previous men's record. He also holds the record in the summer sprint race, so fair to say he's quite good on that course. Completing the podium in the men's race, we have Ian Cox and Curtis Forth, and in the women's race, Alice Kershaw and Sarah Doherty took second and third. So the weather here this morning is absolutely perfect. We've got a beautiful sunrise, clear skies, it's crisp, it's fresh, it's great running conditions. But as we all know, the conditions will always change on the Pennine Way. We always know if you've got a weather app, you need at least four or five different locations on there. It just shows the scale of this race. The snow is coming in, there'll be some rain. No doubt we'll throw some wind in for some extra action. But although it's nice this morning, it could change. Beautiful morning. Absolutely stunning. Feel good factor for day one. Definitely. I've not done the winter before, so uh, I thought I'd uh, best give it a try. See what all the fuss is about. Okay, yeah. Small things, yeah, to fix. Get, get finished faster. <laughs> so far, very beautiful. Tough race, but I like it. That's my idea. Went quite fast in the first, first half, and then <clears throat> through the night, it was just really difficult. I mean, even though the weather was good, the terrain, the constant moving of, the, of, the, of your foot on the ground and I think sleep deprivation and just my feet were a bit of a mess. First attempt at the spine, yeah, uh, and it's distance as well. Just try to finish it next time. We're very, very tired now. Not really ready for a minus 15 wind chill, but this is the hardest bit, I think, in terms of what we're going to do. My favourite bit has been running over the moors with clear skies at night, all the stars out. I feel really privileged to have done that, to be honest, for 10 minutes. <laughs> the novelty wore off after that. I've not been out in freezing conditions before, so it's good to know that, you know, I can go out and survive the night. <laughs> it's relentless forward progress now. It's, um, yeah, don't stop, just 
keep at it. A good day, we had a really good sunrise and I was with Dunstan overnight. So I don't really care how long it takes, as long as we get there, you know. Us two have stuck together, um, we walk at the same pace and it's nice to have the company, especially during the daylight, uh, the darkness nice. hours. Yeah. 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 Being on your own in the dark is a bit, a bit lonesome. Good to have company, isn't it? over Mallon Cove in one piece now. I'm just going to plug on and get it done. That's the plan. Hello boys, I'm doing this for you. I hope it will be good for Daddy. Good evening. I'm in Hawes. Just over there is Market House, which is the finish line of the Montane Winter Spine Challenger South, where we have just just a couple of minutes ago since Samantha Lassure finish in first place alongside Tom Parkin who was first in the MRT Challenge South. Now it's been an exciting day today. The first day of the Big Spine Race always is. We've had celebratory scenes here in Hawes with the front end of the Challenger South crossing the line. But let's not forget, we're going into the second night for the runners in the Challenger South. It's been dark for a few hours here and it's going to be dark right through until 8am tomorrow morning. It's going to be a long night. It's going to be bitterly cold. Now, in the full monster 268 mile Montane Winter Spine Race, it is currently anybody's guess. I could tell you right now who's in the lead on that tracking system, and I promise you that pack would have shuffled again twice by the time this video comes out. Claire Banworth, as many people expected, is right at the front of the female athletes at the moment with Hannah Rickman behind. Damien Hall and Kim Collison are right up at the front in a repeat of January 2022, although this time they're joined by Conrad Rorlick, husband of Jasmine Paris, our course record holder. Last night, which seems a thousand years ago now, we saw the podiums resolved for the Montane Winter Spine Sprint. All three female athletes on that podium came in ahead of the previous previous course record, which is absolutely astonishing, and a new course record went in the male race there as well. It speaks to the epic scale of this race that the first female athlete and the first runner in the MRT Challenge have just crossed the line in the dark when the first person over the line crossed just after sunrise this morning. That person was Daniel Weller, who ran an excellent race yesterday, was close to that almost indestructible looking gym man record, but slowed a little overnight. Still an outstanding performance from Daniel. 